Hey beauties, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a long time. I'm really excited to finally get back into filming. I'm clearly in a new place and we'll be moving again soon, so don't get used to this horrible background. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm going to hop right into this video. I have finally hopped on the bandwagon for an up bra. This thing is like a holy grail, heavenly thing if you're in the itty bitty titty committee like myself. I'm pretty much the chair captain with I have like a small B, if not like a large A, if that makes sense. Depending on what the bra is, I can go for a B or I can go for an A. I went for an A in this one and it fits perfectly. The smaller you go in a kind of a push-up bra though, I find the more better it looks, if that makes sense, because it's, it, it's less of stuff to push up, more of your stuff. Does that make sense? Anyways, I went for an A in this one, an A32 if you're curious, I don't know if that matters. But I'm going to tell you all the cool contraptions that are hiding in this beautiful bra that do all the awesome work that it does. Basically, this thing pushes up what you already have to give you an ultimate cleavage. Like, I have really nothing to begin with, so I'm not going to get the world's best cleavage, but it's the best one I've ever had, and I'm very happy with it. So, <laughs> I'm going to do a close-up, and I'm also going to do some before and after photos, and if you guys are interested in exactly how to put on the bra, I'm not going to show you that. I'm going to leave a video down below that's, like, I believe on the up bra YouTube thing, and it's what made me want to buy this. There's girls literally running up and down stairs, bouncing, and this thing does not move. There is a strapless version. I just got the convertible one, so I can move the straps around, I can take them off completely, and yeah, so I'm really excited, and I wanted to share this with you guys if any of you have itty bitty titty problems like I do. <laughs> And so, yeah, let's get into it. First thing on the back here, there is silicone hearts, and I believe sil yeah, silicone lining along the band here, and that keeps it from sliding and moving around, and it's actually really comfortable. It doesn't, like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's catching or anything, and I don't know, I don't really sweat, but I'm assuming if you sweat, you wouldn't really feel any rubbing. It's a very, very, very soft kind of silicone material. It's very nice. The bra itself is a great material, and it's almost, like, seamless when you wear it. I don't notice in my tight clothes that you can really see the lines of it, which is nice. So it has the hearts, and they do leave little heart prints on your boobs, or at least on mine. But I wear it on the tightest setting, just to have the best effect. And then also, the settings. So this beautiful little part down here has two hooks, kind of like just regular bra hooks, like up at the top. It's just little hooks. You don't feel them when you're wearing it. I kind of thought maybe, like, ooh, wouldn't that be uncomfortable? I don't feel it. I wear this thing on the daily. I do not feel those digging into me or anything. So basically, these little guys, you can hook them as far away from the middle as you want. The further away, the more cleavage you'll get is basically the idea. I wear it on the tightest setting because, like I said, I don't have much and I want it all pushed up and looking pretty. So I wear it on the tightest and you can always adjust it. You can put it on and adjust it, but I always adjust mine first and then kind of get all in there and comfortable. It just works a little easier that way for me. And then also something that's really different about this bra that I really liked, on the end where you connect the bra with all the little hooks here, it actually has four different hooks rather than just the two or the one. And so I always start off with the lowest hook just because the elastic naturally stretches. Like the longer you have it, the more it's going to stretch. So if you start off right at the tightest one and it stretches to that size and stretches over, you can't keep tightening it. So I always start at the lowest one and then if it feels like it starts to get a little loose, I'll move up one next time and then until that one gets like kind of a little big around my waist, I'll move up again. But I really enjoy that they have four settings on this hook just because if you do, like if you're not sure of your size, because I know a lot of people haven't gone in and gotten size like I have, then it just kind of gives you a little more playroom to have like a better fit, which I really appreciate. And yeah, so that's basically it about this awesome contraption. With the convertible, there's literally like probably 20 ways, if not more, you could wear it. You can wear it just one strap, you can wear it like the cross X straps, so you can wear a racer, you can wear it no straps, you can wear it with just the one going like up and over one shoulder to the other, like to the front, opposite front, does that make sense? For like a one shoulder kind of dress or something. It is just basically the best thing ever. I've never been so in love with a bra, that sounds so weird, and I've been raving to all my friends, like everybody at work, I'm like, guess what? I have a fake cleavage today, it's from this new bra. I'm, I'm one of those people. I'm very proud when I, I feel confident. I love showing it. I love feeling good about myself. And when you have small boobs and you're not really interested nor have the money to go get like a boob job, this is like an awesome way to do it without all that permanent and surgery and all those other things. So this is a really great way to do it. And I believe it's only $89. But with the code you're getting down below, it's going to be less. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to get into the before and after shots. Like I said, I don't have a huge cleavage. I don't have much boobs to squeeze together. So it is not the bra's fault. It is just Mother Nature's 
good grace on my poor tiny body. <laughs> and I may actually have some shots of my best friend in here. She is also getting an up bra, loves it to death, so she's gonna maybe do some before and after. She does have bigger boobs than I do, so you may get a better idea with her than me. So we're gonna get into those before and after clips now, and if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, like, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea hearing about a bra, but if you enjoy kind of reviews and, like, my personal opinions on things, please give this a thumbs up, and if you have any comments, questions, or any concerns, leave them down below. If you've tried that bra, please let me know your personal thoughts, comments on it down below, and yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!